Have you ever wanted to buy a vintage Polaroid camera, but you don't know what to look for? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what I look for when I'm buying one secondhand. Coming up. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric and today we're talking all about buying Polaroid cameras second hand. Now when you're out and about and you're at garage sales or you're at thrift stores and maybe you've seen a Polaroid camera sitting there before for sale but you don't know what to look for. You don't want to make sure that the camera works. Today I'm going to go step by step what I look for when I'm buying a Polaroid camera second hand. But before we get into all that, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that way you stay notified on every time I put a video out just like this one. Now today for this video we have this Polaroid 600. I picked this up at a thrift store literally over the weekend and I paid $5 for it. Now there's a couple of things that I look for on a camera when I'm looking to see if it works. Normally someone's gonna have the camera closed just like how this is right here sitting on a shelf and you really can't tell much information from it. So the first thing you need to do, especially if it's a 600 camera, that means a camera that opens and closes, is you need to attempt to open it just like this. After you open it, you should hear a noise. It should sound like a high pitched buzzing that's actually the flash beginning to charge. If you don't hear that, here's what you need to do. On every 600 camera, there's gonna be a button and that's gonna release the door latch. So once you have the latch down, the thing that you're gonna to wanna to do next is you're gonna to wanna to see inside and see if there's a cassette already in there. If there is, go ahead and pull it out and then try to reinsert it. If it's working the way it should, the metal connections that are on the cassette will match with the metal connections inside the camera and that camera will actually fire up. I have one here that I use to test. Now, when we insert this cassette into the camera, it should automatically spit out um, a photo, which isn't a bad thing. If this was a brand new cassette of film, it would actually just be sending out the dark card. But for the sake of this example, when I insert this cassette and I close it, a photo should pop out. Just like that. So that's a good sign. And at that point, everything you need for your Polaroid to be working right is good to go. We know that all the connections work, the camera's mechanisms, they work correctly, the latches work, the buttons work, triggers work, the flash works. So you can go ahead and feel pretty confident in purchasing that camera and knowing that it's gonna work for you for a very, very long time. So now I'm taking the camera home, and now what I like to do is clean it up cosmetically on the outside. A lot of times these cameras have been sitting for years and years and they've just been collecting dust. So I like to grab a can of air and I just like to blow all the dust off of it. I will say, do not use this can of air on any of the internal parts of the camera um, because it's very, very cold and you don't want to damage any of the inside parts. Just use this for the outside. The outside of Polaroids are really, really durable. They're made of a hard plastic normally, and so they can really take a good, you know, wiping down. And so but you never want to ever, ever spray any of that inside your lens or any of your mechanisms like that. Cool. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and I open up the camera. I think a lot of times people forget the fact that Polaroid cameras are actually cameras, that they have lenses, and that they need to be wiped down from time to time. So again, never use that can duster for any of your camera parts or the lens. You're gonna to wanna to use like a standard rocket duster like you would for your digital camera or your DSLR. So just like you normally would, I tip the camera upside down and I just blow air into the lens and it's upside down so that way if there's any particles or anything like that, they just fall straight down. If after you've done that and your camera is still dirty, uh, I definitely recommend taking a microfiber cloth or a lens cloth of, of any type and just lightly go ahead and wipe the lens. Again, it's a camera, so you need to make sure that you don't have any grease or gunk or dust on the inside of your lens because it could affect your image quality at the end of the day. And there you have it. 
you purchased your camera, you took it home, you cleaned it up, you made sure that everything is in working order. Now, the only thing left for you to do is to go to your local camera store or get online and get some brand new film. But now I wanna hear from you. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever bought a camera second hand and how did it go? If you wanna keep up to date with everything that I have going on in my day to day, make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm Eric Brown Jr. And I will see you on the next one.